What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 18, Problem 7 in the Fundamentals of Physics, 9th Edition Extended Textbook by Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 18 is all about temperature, heat, and the first law of thermodynamics. And in Problem 7, we are asked to convert a temperature in Kelvin to some temperature on an arbitrary linear temperature scale. And so, since we are told that this temperature scale is linear, we can write it as a linear equation. And the generic form of a linear equation is y equals mx plus b, where y is going to be our temp in Kelvin, x is going to be our temp in this arbitrary scale, degrees x, m is our slope, and b is our y-intercept. Now it is not explicitly stated in the problem, but we are essentially given two data points, so x comma y, and those are the freezing temperatures and the boiling temperatures. And so I'm just going to write those out over here, so point one, and I'm going to make this one the boiling data point, and we're told that in terms of degrees x, that is negative 53.5 degrees. And then we are told at the end of the problem to approximate water's boiling point as 373K. So there's our first data point. And now our second data point is for freezing. And so we're told that in degrees X, this is negative 170. And we know that water's freezing point in Kelvin is 100 degrees less than its boiling point. So we'll say this is 200 and 73k. So those are our two data points and now what we can do is we can plug those into our generic form. So starting with point one, we will have 373 is equal to m times negative 53.5 plus b and using point two, we will have 273 is equal to m times negative 170 plus b. And now if we look at this, we have two equations and we have two unknowns. So two equations, two unknowns, meaning that these two equations can be simultaneously solved using an equation solver to give you your slope and your y-intercept. Now if this was given to you on a test or you weren't allowed to use a solver, you'd have to do it by hand and so that's what I'm going to show you right now. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to isolate b in the first equation. So I'm going to add 53.5m to both sides of this equation and that's going to leave me with b is equal to 373 plus 53.5m. And now that I have b as a function of m, I'm going to take this and plug it into the b in equation 2. So now we have one equation and one unknown, the unknown being our value of m. And so what I need to do now is combine like terms. And to do that, I'm going to subtract 373 from both sides and then combine these two m terms on this side. So if I subtract 373 from both sides, that's going to give me negative 100 on this side. And that's going to be equal to negative 170m plus 53.5m, which is going to be equal to negative 116.5m. So now if I divide both sides by this negative 116.5, that's going to give me that m is equal to negative 100 over negative 116.5, and that is equal to 0 0.858. So now that's my value of m, and what I can do is plug that value of m into this equation right here to solve for b. And if you plug that into your calculator, this should equal about 419. And so now I have the m and the b that go into my generic equation. So I'm going to plug those back in there. That's going to give me y is equal to 0.858x plus 419. Now the problem asked me to convert 340k into degrees x. So using this equation now, we can plug in our value of 340k over here and then solve for our value of x. So I'm just going to rearrange this equation for x first by subtracting 419 from both sides and then dividing both sides by 0 0.858. 
So that's going to give me that x is equal to y minus 419 over 0 0.858. And now if we plug in our value of 340k, And now if you plug that into your calculator, you should find that our value for 340K in degrees X is negative 92.1 degrees X. And that is the final answer to this problem. So that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.